Nine holes of match play from the black tees against a plus one handicap. I'd love to do you a really good introduction, but it's 6.30 a.m. Let's do it, and let's do it now. What if I don't want to do it now? Well, you haven't really got a choice. It's... Can't we do it later? Potentially, yeah, but wouldn't you rather do it now? Not really. Day. <laughs> Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, you've picked a bit of a strange video to find me, but nevertheless, welcome to the channel. And if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Today we are taking on Tom. Tom is a plus one handicap. We're out here in Spain at Novo Santi Petri. I think that's how you say it. And we are going black tees, 30 mile an hour winds, and it's gonna be fun. Tom, say hello to everyone. Morning. Morning. It's a bit early. It is a bit early. If we do both seem really, really groggy, it is really early. But we're not hung over. Are we? Yeah. Which is always yeah. a bonus. Is that me in the fairway, that? Well, yeah, but that's me 40 yards further off. Yeah, nearly in the villa. Right. Not gonna lie. I got a bit of run. Not a lot of run. Sit! Sit! Nailed it though. So that was just, just 240 yards left in after the drive on the first hole. He's walking after it. He's giving it the old Sergio skip. A little bit slower than Sergio, but... Oh, he's jumping! He's jumping! Handily, handily! Nervy one, but we'll take it. They just love a good opening hole. None of this 300 yard par 4 birdie. 450 into the wind, water long, tight. Work for your par. Team. Now in fairness, that is a more honourable half than you're probably thinking. It is very, very early. We've not had a put, we've not had a warm up, and I'm giving you every excuse under the sun for a bogey on the first hole. Well, first hole done. It doesn't get any easier than that either. It doesn't get any easier? Nope. It's harder. Like this one. I've just hit driver two iron into. Have you beaten driver two iron short on this par five? So. Comment below guys, how many holes does it take you to get warmed up on a golf course? <laughs> I thought you liked dogs. I do, but not so real. Well that is less than ideal. Again. Second hole, and I've hit three gappers already. Yeah, good shot. Really good shot. Go, go. Not bad. Didn't, it didn't, didn't need much too. more. I'm 
so pleased with five on that. That's not an easy par four. So I think potentially that could be the hardest fought par I've ever had. Ever. So Tom, just as we walk into this third tee, do you want to tell everyone how long this golf course is off the black tees? 7,200 yards. 7,200 yards. And Fick, what's Fixby? 6-3? Fixby's 6-3 where we work. So 7,200 yards, about 50 yards per hole longer than where we usually play in these winds. But that's why we're playing match play, isn't it? There'd be absolutely no point trying to play stroke play in this. Ooh, some of that. See, that's knocking it as well. That's fine. Are you reloading? <clears throat> www.reload.com forward slash for right! Yeah, I don't know. That'd be alright, that one. Well, wow. that's, that's astonishing. Did it co come off Pedro's van? So Tom's literally just sent it into those houses there, and somehow, middle of the fairway. Unbelievable. That has come off Pedro's van, Miguel's villa, and then David's pool. I can't think of any more Spanish names. Just got 190 in now. Seems about right. It's even too windy to prop the camera on the bag. Well, there's no need for that, was there? This is just one of those days where it is an absolute battle. Pars are your friend, bogeys could potentially be your friend, and Pedro's Villa is your best mate, eh hey, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> we finally have a golf shop. Yeah, you will. What was that? Yeah. Good, good. good yeah. yeah. Like that. <laughs> good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, middle wicket. <laughs> That's got to stop it from going like another 40 yards. Though. Good. That's fine. Just needs a straight bounce, it's fine. I can't believe I hit that. Tree. <laughs> What? Tom's taking offence to the uh, circle of life, I think, there. It's the food chain, Tom. Well, a bird shouldn't eat another bird, it's not right. Sorry. I struck that beautifully. Yeah, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, that's good. Very good. I sent it. Oh, ah, he's played one.
get yourself in, Tom. Is that one there? That one looks alright. Ooh, yeah. hello. Hello. Are we going for it? Alright. Alright. Yorkshire lad on tour. Don't push me in. <laughs> yeah, I've got you. Don't. No, let go. Fine. I've got it. Top flight. This is the pinnacle. <laughs> <laughs> And we can all relate to that, can't we? Pinnacle. You don't want to be in that bunker, do you? You don't want to be in that bunker at all. I'm feeling going back to level here, Tom. Are you? Yeah. I'm not. Oh. Yeah, you couldn't really go for it, could you? Pick it up. Lucky. To be fair, two two falls on there I think is pretty good with that. How many chances is James going to waste? All of them. Is this the one that goes down by the beach? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it now. What if I don't want to do it now? Well, you haven't really got a choice. It's can't we do it later? Potentially, yeah, but wouldn't you rather do it now? Not really. Why? Well, I'd rather do it in a bit, really. <laughs> okay. And also, guys, if you are wondering why this isn't in the Play for a Pint series, we're here all week and I didn't want the channel to just be like seven videos of playing for a pint, playing for a pint, James is a massive alcoholic, play for a pint. Don't get me wrong, we are having pints every night, but you don't need to know that, do you? Healy. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's where you want to be. Scores on the doors. James is still one down. Seems to be saying that a lot on this trip. See what I mean about this one? Oh, hello. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> Shot, I'm really pleased for you. Thanks. Really pleased for you. Buzzing. Ah, oh, come on, baby. Is there anything better than stepping up to the plate when needed and hitting a shot? <laughs> the Nature Channel presented by Thomas Hunt. Maybe that's what you could do for a job, Tom, if golf doesn't yeah. work out. Not naturist, because that's a different thing. In the next David Attenborough. Yeah. See, so everyone at home now knows that we can play, Tom. Yours must have been close, you know, if it's pitched there. Well, hole halved in birdies, so we can actually play. Think about the scores actually, Tom's level and one over. It's not bad around this golf course, in this wind. I know you all probably think I'm just bitching about the conditions, but it is pretty tough. I'm one down, we've got three to play. I think I can pull it back. Do you think? No chance. 200 yards over water into the wind. Enjoy yourself. That strike sounded pretty incredible, to be fair. I can't hit it better than that. Do you reckon I can hit four iron? I'm just going to hit a four iron at that bunker on the right. And just let it... Wind should yeah. drift it slightly. Why don't you just go straight in the bunker? Straight in the bunker. How's that stayed straight? <laughs> the wind's just knocked up that hole, is it? Ah! 
That's going to be an hard bump. So you can get that too then. Flicked it and it got up. That's going to be an hard bump. So you can get that too then. Flicked it and it got up. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's on camera. Oh! Ooh! Nearly dropped that one in. I'll give you that. Don't put that in. So I need this or it's dormy too, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Two. Mm. me two. We need something. Come on, Tom. Nice quick, quick snap hook or a nice big block or. How many coots are there over there? Coots. Chat. That's a good shot. Similar line as mine. Oh, he's played the snapper. Shot. See, it draws round off the line, naturally. Yeah. Downwind. This could be the match here, Tom. That's bunker. Oh. Chance. Chance. I don't know what that was in my hand, but chance. I think you go up and down, so I need to make birdie. Mm. Nice strike. You said go. Short. Way short. Yet again. Chance wasted. No, not on the head cover. No. Not bad. So effectively, Tom's got this for the match. If he misses, I need to make and we'll take him to the last. I fancy it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a loss. Well played, pal. In fairness, I don't think that's terrible. I mean, that last, that last put, yeah, wasn't fantastic. But don't feel like that's too bad. Black tees, massively long golf course designed by Seve Ballesteros, and about probably 30, 40 mile an hour wins. Guys, I've been James Robinson. That has been Tom. The next David Attenborough. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you smash that subscribe button put the thumbs up and as always see you tomorrow